Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Today's episode is looking for images that are copyright free or public domain, images that you can download, print, manipulate, do whatever you want to, and then put it in a project that you can then turn around and sell. So today we're going to go to the Netherlands and I cannot pronounce the name of this museum but here's what they did that is super cool. They basically digitized everything they had that was in the public domain and said here you go come and get it it's all out here and it is a fabulous place to go for old works of art and things that maybe are not showing up in some of these other curated collections. So let's look for something here. And I'm going to look for a hummingbird. And then you click the little bar. You don't have to look for rights statements because everything that they have on here is in the public domain, but I will show you where all that is. So there's only one hummingbird. And this says, design for a jewel in the shape of a hummingbird. So somebody was going to make probably a brooch that could go you know, on your clothing, on a hat or what have you, maybe with rubies and emeralds and diamonds. So here, here is your image and you can look at more details and this is going to tell you all about it, the artist and rights, public domain, boom. Alright, but what's also cool is you're, you're kind of disappointed, it's like oh there was only one hummingbird. So if you come down here and you can see people can make collections just like they do on Flickr and somebody has already put together a collection of 54 images that are all about birds. So let's take a look here. And what do we have? We have got some great bird images and all of these are going to be in the public domain. Kingfisher, isn't that cool? And I can't get up to the top. I can't get up to the top, but in the other, in the smaller image, you could see that you had the entire image. And then to download, you just click over here, download the image, and you have these options here. You do have to sign up for an account, but it's free to sign up for this account, and then you have access to all of these images. I'm going to go down here and see. There were some more sets that people had put together. Uh, I don't know what this is. Water. You might notice this sort of looks similar to the layout of Flickr, so it, it should feel kind of comfortable to go around and navigate it. Oh, what a great frog. Or toad. I'm not sure what the difference, how to tell the difference when I'm looking at them, at least in pictures. But I'm going to say frog. So you can download that image, or it might take you down another rabbit hole. Rabbit hole. Here's a dragon. What is that from? Look at this. So I can't read any of that, but I could download the image if I wanted to. Just remember you need to set up an account. So there are I couldn't even begin to tell you um, what you might find in here. You might find old canvas paintings. You might find 3D art. Uh, just you know, search for something that's of interest to you. And like I said, this place might have images that are not going to show up as fast in some of these humongous other digitized archives. So one thing I did was put together a collection of my own just doing some very simple searches. I just wanted you to get an idea of what kind of images you might be able to find here and how the language barrier really doesn't make that much of a difference. As long as you can read the words public domain, you're good. So I searched for circus, elephant, wow, really great elephant. We've got bunnies, even though bunnies are not my favorite thing right now because they're eating everything in my garden. We have bears, vintage child photograph. We have a lot of the old masters, of course, if you have a painting that you're particularly enamored of and you know that it happens to be a Dutch painting, you might actually find it in here and okay to download. Ballerina, some other dancers, uh, posters, they do have a few posters in there. Some glamour pictures, birds. I mean, really, anything that you can find at the other places, but 
Like I said, this is a smaller site because it's concentrating on Dutch images and you know, it's, it's just when you're going to some of these larger archives where there's so many thousands upon thousands of images, you know, it's just taking a chance every time you put in a search thing. So it's just kind of fun to visit uh, different places and see how they have curated things and what might come up with the same search. I love this elegant woman reading. Vintage fashion, advertisement for chocolate, beautiful, beautiful swan. Children's book. I mean, you name it, you can probably find a few images in here under your category. Love this little girl. The expression in this woman's eyes. Shells. You can find book covers like this, and you might want to print that out, and you can use that as the base of a cover on one of the books that you're making. Butterflies. Children. Skeletons, how cool is this? A skeleton of a giraffe. Beautiful woman, dog. You know, I always gotta look for a dog. More skeletons. This, oh how fun, they are on roller skates. Many, many years ago, I did a lot of roller skating. Many years ago. And here we have the writer typing and a beautiful glamour shot. So that's just to give you an idea. And of course, if you click through one of these, let's try that. If we click through this one that's in my collection, so you can download it, but let's go down there and see, does it start a collection from somebody else? So see, you've got three more collections that you could check out to see if there's any photographs in that that you might like. Thanks for going with me to visit this museum in the Netherlands. I am so grateful that they have put all of their images online for people to use. Remember, as always, that it is your responsibility as the artist to do your due diligence with copyrights and make sure that the rules around copyrights are the right ones for whatever country you happen to be residing and selling your art in. Join me next time for another adventure. Off to find some more great images. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.